YouTube, my um, camera is going to be a little shaky for a second because it is in my hand. Um, I just wanted to quickly um, do like a newbie video for the Scanning Cut 2 and the reason that I decided to pick it up. I have been doing some research online as well as watching some YouTube videos on the Silhouette and the um, Cricut and I came across the Brother Scanning Cut. Um, the videos that I watched for the Cricut and the Silhouette had these what I consider because I'm, I'm a, an absolute newbie to be a little bit complicated as far as setting up the program to, to put your stickers in and you have to format them a certain way to be able to cut them correctly. Um, when I discovered the brother, brother scanning cut, what attracted me immediately to this machine is that I can just scan my page into this machine and cut it out from this machine. I don't have to go into my computer for anything that I absolutely love. Um, so I just kind of wanted to show you like the close ups and then I'll put my camera on the tripod. And I just think this is pretty, that decoration they put there. But I just wanted to show you the, the cutter first. And then I'll show you myself cutting out, scanning and cutting out, actually using the program in the machine. So the first thing, it looks like it's the size of a printer, which I like because it doesn't take up that much room on my desk. Um, what I like the most, which makes this thing absolutely easy, is this little pop-up screen right here. It looks like it's about the size of your cell phone. And it's not that much bigger than my cell phone that I have actually. And everything that you do, you do from here. This is a touch screen. So you use the buttons on the sides as well as a touch screen. Um, this part right here is, I assume, just like covering the dust. And it's also used as like the guide for the mat. So that part comes down. You have your cutter here, which you can adjust. I am not going to adjust mine, but you can pull it in and out. And it has these little numbers. Oh, wrong. The numbers here on the bottom from 1 to 12 that you can adjust the, um, the blade on. So you can adjust the, the how you know for whatever however thick your paper is. And I feel like I'm stumbling over my words, but I'm trying to do two things at one time. This is also Wi-Fi ready, so it is set up to my network. Um, I have been having a ball. I have had this thing for when did I get it? I think I got it on Thursday. Today is Sunday, so I have had it for like three days, maybe if you count Thursday, Thursday for, four, for four days. And I have just been like using the heck out of it. So what I am going to do is to turn it on and you see the nice large clear screen. And it's just gonna go through some little graphics. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go to the home screen and the carriage is going to adjust. So I'll just hit OK. So the carriage adjusted. That's that quick. Um, I am going to quickly show you what I'm going to do. I don't have my mat in yet. I'm going to show you close up so that when I put it on my tripod, you kind of understand what I'm doing. When I put the mat in or my um, printable in, I am going to hit scan. I'm going to direct cut because it is going to be scanning directly from the paper that I put in it. And then you have this here. Cut scanned various images directly based on the pa patterns. Put materials to scan on the mat and set it to the machine. Press the start stop button to scan. Then it has a recognition code mode. I have mine set to recognize color because that's what I'm putting in. Or you can hit that button there and you can put it to recognize black and white. So I'm just going to leave it there. Um, and from this point, I am going to put my camera on the tripod and show you 
what the rest of the process is. All right, so the printable that I am going to print out today, I got from myplannerenvy.com. I needed some more scales for my um, my happy planner, the fitness planner. So I'm going to print some of those out today. Um, we did that before we're going to hit direct cut and I am going to zoom in to the screen and we are going to hit the start button to scan the image in the start stop button to scan the image into the machine okay so that is scanned in and now at this point I'm going to frame my image or you know make the, the screen smaller or frame my image so that the machine knows the area that I want to cut into so you have this one in the lower right corner you drag up this way I don't want to make it too close that's good enough then I'll drag this one down this way so we'll just have my um, sheet of paper in frame. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'll hit OK and it is going to recognize my images and that takes like a minute or so. Alright, so now that the image is scanned in, my camera is going to die but we can check here and I'll zoom it in 200% so that you can see what is going to be cut out here and you can see that they are all framed I think you can kind of see that and the next thing we're going to do is hit OK and then we're going to hit cut when that comes in and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's cut out. So we'll hit cut and then we'll hit the start stop button again. So you can see that all my squares are there. And we're going to cut and I'll be right back. All right, now the machine has stopped cutting. So I'll just click OK. And we are going to zoom back out again. Let me bring you down a bit. Um, and what I'm going to do now is just hit that. Let's zoom back in again real quick. I'm going to hit this button here, which loads and unloads the mat from the machine. And we're going to unload the mat. And so you can't really tell. I'm going to pull this off and you can see that it kiss cut. Mm, maybe not. Did hang on for a second. My mat is super sticky and things stick, but okay. So it kind of pulled the backing off of my sticker page. But this is what my stickers look like. And to prove, let me put that down that way. We'll bring it down this way. Let me zoom out. Um, and I am going to show you that it did indeed kiss cut my stickers. I'll pull one up from the bottom here. And it's wanting to lift up from the top. But as you can see, yes, it did kiss cut my stickers for me. So now I have, I have a whole page of scale so I can keep track of my weight in my Happy Planner Fitness Planner. And that was just a quick demo. There are still some things that I am trying to iron out with the print and cut. Like if the image is too light, it won't recognize it. And therefore, it'll try to cut what they see as the image. I don't know if there's like some kind of sensitivity thing that I can adjust so it can see like light yellow from the white page or light pink from the white page. So those are the things that me being a newbie, I need to work out. But so far, I am very happy with this machine. Um, and I'm glad that I did invest in it. If you want to pick it up, and like this is not, I'm not affiliated with them. I ain't getting a dime. But if you want to pick it up, it is available on hsn.com. And they also have it 
if you need to budget it on the easy payments um I think that is it you all I will put like the price of it and everything in the description bar because I can't remember what that is right now but thank you all so much for watching I am going to close this machine up and get on with the making of a few beauty videos that I have thank you for watching again and have a great day bye